Hello. In this video we're going to add six boxes to the home page of the Studio Press theme called Executive Pro. This is Executive Pro theme. Now if you look underneath the slider there's these six boxes. But before you start you'll need six WordPress web pages. They're not blog posts, these are web pages we're using. So you need six WordPress web pages and make sure that they've got featured images assigned to the pages. Your featured images are 300 pixels wide by 100 pixels high. So we need those pages to be able to uh, put them in here. And what we're going to do, so if we have a look, when you first set up your theme, an executive pro theme, until you put widgets into widget areas in your WordPress dashboard, you'll just get a list of blog posts that you've made. But we want to display web pages in this area. So what do we do? We go to our WordPress dashboard, go to dashboard, appearance, widgets, and we're looking for this. This is a widget area and these are widgets. So we drag widgets into the widget area. We need home top widget area and we want the Genesis featured page widget. So drag that into home top widget area. And then if you, if you don't see the uh, all the settings, just click the little down arrow and it will open up. So we need to choose a page that we've already made. You've got to have already made pages before they'll be listed in this page list here. And we are doing, I think development was the first page we're going to do. So choose a page from the drop down, click the button that says show featured image. We want to show a featured image and we want the image size to be 300 by 100. I'm not going to align it left or right, I'm just going to leave that as a norm. I don't want to show the page title, but I do want to add some content and I want the amount of content to be 140 characters. Then in there we just type read more. Right, I'll show you what that's done and I'll also show you why we're not going to use this page title. So I'll turn it on and then I'll turn it off in a minute. So I'll click save and I'll show you what we've done there. Now, as soon as you add a widget into a widget area on the home page, this will change. So we'll refresh the page. There we go, we've got one widget in one widget area. And it's a featured post widget, so it's featuring this post that we chose from that drop down list. I don't want this here because it doesn't look as good. The, the title at the top looks better than having the title here. So I'll turn that off. And that's the one that there, show page title. We've already typed our own title in here, so we don't need to show the page title there. So click save, turned it off, untick the box, turned it off. And we now have got, <laughs> there, there's no title there. So we just need to do that six times. So I'll just put you on hold and I'll, I'll set the rest up. Right, now what I've done, I've done exactly the same thing. I've dragged the Genesis featured page widget into home top, I did that three times and then each one I open up the box and set the settings. I typed a title, I chose a page from the list here. These are all pages I've already made so you've got to have already made the page before it'll appear there. I've chosen show featured image, I chose a featured image size which is the, featured, the size of the featured image that I assigned to this page. Uh, no alignment, I'm not showing the page title because I've typed my own title in there. I'm setting, I'm showing content and I'm showing 140 characters of content and I've added a read more link there. Just type the text for read more. Click save. And I did that six times with six different pages. I did three in this home top widget area. Exactly the same thing. Choose a different page. And another one. That's a different page I chose there from the drop down. Now you've got home top and you've got home middle. You do exactly, exactly the same there. Featured page widget, not a featured post widget, a featured page widget into home middle area. And what we end up with is this. Six boxes. Now, these are called featured images. And the way you get a featured image into your web page, when you're editing or making your web page, just scroll down and look for this that says featured image. If you can't see it, just click the little down arrow and there's a link, just click the link and it'll let you put in a featured image there. 
And this particular theme needs 300 pixels wide by 100 pixel high fe featured image. And you'll end up with, oh, let's go, let's have a look, something like that. Well, thanks for watching and bye for now.